and bar. Okay, and then like I promised last week, you're gonna need a chair or a ledge or something, but also you'll want a shorter ledge as well. So often you want something that's like here or like hip height, right, to kind of hold on to. You will also want the edge of that chair or the edge of your couch today, um, or even an ottoman, great, great option, okay? So just know that you will want that, you will, we will use that, and it will be great, okay? Here we go. Let's go ahead and just start a few walkouts. It seems to be the um, exercise of the month, which is funny because it's a new month now, but we're gonna continue it for one more week. So whenever you've got all the stuff off your mat, inhale, arms reach up, <laughs> exhale, fold, and then walk it out, hold your plank. Good, and then walk it back in. Try not let those hips go side to side. Bend your knees, roll up for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Walk it out and hold. Nice. And then bend your knees, walk it back in. Rolling up for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. my nice straight legs. Walk it out. Hold your plank. Nice. Bend your knees, walk it back in. Roll up for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. We have one more after this one. And hold. Good, bend your knees, roll it up. Walk it up, roll up for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Walk it out and hold. Good, hold your plank, breathe. All right, and tap, right knee and lift. Left knee and lift. Right knee and lift. Left knee and lift. Four, three, two, and one. Good, both knees down. Go ahead and get off your hands for a moment. Excellent, roll out the shoulders. Give a little shake out. Awesome. Cool. All right, you can bow on your hands or your elbows where you have some planks. Let's warm it on to our core, our shoulders, everything super quick. Super quick way to do that would be plank. <laughs> so whenever you're ready, coming into plank hold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and back and forth. Here we go. Rocking forward and back, sliding forward and back. Three, and four, five, and six, going to ten, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Release, maybe find a child's pose. Ooh. Crazy, we're finding child's pose already. It's gonna be a great day, I can tell. All righty, guys. Go ahead and make your way back into your plank. So you can be in plank on your hands and your knees, or you can be in plank hands and feet. Good, if you're on hands and feet, you're just gonna take your feet wide, a little bit wider than usual. All righty, check and make sure your bum didn't go up in the air when you did that. And then try to keep your hips steady. Tap opposite shoulder, hand down. Tap and down, tap and down, tap and down. Four, three, keep your hips steady. Two, and one, good. Bring your knees down. While we're at it, we're gonna do a few more plank situations and then we'll be good for at least a while, quite a while. Excellent. All right, this time you're gonna to wanna to be on your hands and your feet if possible. So bring your hands under your shoulders, take your feet wide again. And you're gonna go opposite knee, opposite elbow. So we're gonna cross and back, across and back, across and back, across and back. Keep going, in and back, in and back, in and back, in and back, in. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Knees come down. 
get off your hands for a moment. If you feel like you're not that tired, feel free to stay in your plank and hold it in between rounds. Good. All right, go ahead and bring your hands back. Bring your feet wide, wide as your mat. If you don't have a mat, just imagine you're on a beach towel that wide. All right, and then tap one foot over to the other and bring it back to its spot. Tap the other foot to meet that one, bring it back. Yes, so tap and back, tap and back, tap and back, tap and back. Try to keep your booty down and back, tap and back, tap. And back. And back, tap, and back. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Knees down. Ooh, you're doing it. All right, we'll do one more on our hands. That's easier on your hands. And then the next couple will be elbows optional. Yeah? Cool. All right. And toasty in here. All right, hands underneath your shoulders. Bring it back, finding your plank. All righty, and we're gonna do mountain climbers. So bring your knee in, let your foot hover, and replace. Knee in, foot hovers, and replace. So instead of, sometimes you do mountain climbers, you like put your foot down and you're like springing off of it and switching like this. Okay, this one we wanna engage more of our core, more of our abs. So let that foot hover as it comes in and take it right back. So there should only be like one foot making contact on the ground most of the time. Cool? All righty, find your plank, knee in and back, knee in and back, knee in and back, knee in and back, and back. Good, for four, three, two. All right, let's get a little faster, here we go. One, two, six, seven, eight, one, two, four, five, six, one more set of eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Those knees come down, get off your hands. Ooh. All righty. This next one, you can be on your hands or your elbows. Completely up to you. You can also be on your knees if you need to be or want to be. Cool. All righty. So just going to demo. I think I'm going to do them on my elbows. That's gonna be a little bit harder for me. Why is that harder? Because when you're on your hands, you can use your forearms. You're using your muscle right here and this and this and all of this. When you drop down, you take a lot of work out of your forearms. So all that extra work it was helping you with is moving up into other parts of your body. So one's not better or worse. They're just different. They have different perks. So. Finding your option. If you're on your knees, you want to find a plank first and then let your knees come down and that's where your knees should be. So give yourself a little boost and then let those knees drop and that's where you want your knees. You can also, again, do this on your toes. You're going to take your right leg back, point your toes and pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch, hold for a moment and then switch it out. Here we go. 10, Five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold one more each side. Here we go. Put in your toe and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plank hold. Last foot. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Find some air, go ahead and sit on up. Ah, nice deep breaths. Excellent. Sweet. All righty. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and take some hinges. So if you are not, if you do not have carpet underneath you like I do, you might just grab the little corners of your mat, edge of your mat, and roll it over. Give yourself a little more extra knee padding for our hinges. Okay. Are you looking to some quads? All right, inhale. And as you exhale, take it back, hold for four, three, 
two, and one. Go ahead, bring it up. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, take it back, hold for four. Three, two, and one. Bring it up. We're gonna add this, excuse me, arm pulses. And if I didn't mention your feet can be tucked or untucked, it's really up to you. Excuse me. Inhale, exhale, hold, arm pulses. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Inhale, exhale, back, pulse for four, three, two, and one. Good, bring it up. Inhale, exhale, take it back, hold for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Inhale, exhale, take it back, hold for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it up. Inhale, exhale, hold for six, five, four, three, two, one. In case you're not watching, I am doing those arm pulses each time. Here we go, inhale, exhale, take it back, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Up, inhale, exhale, take it back, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You got this, take it up. Inhale, exhale, take it back, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last time, inhale, exhale, take it back, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Woo, yay quads. All right, we'll get those quads a little bit more later, but for now, let's move on. Bringing your hands underneath you, knees underneath your hips. We're gonna do some bird dog walks, bird dog marches rather. So left leg back, right arm forward, and then you're gonna replace. Good, right leg back, left arm forward, and replace. So alternating, out and replace, out and replace out and replace. You're extending just long enough to find that point of balance and bring it back in. If you actually find it and then bring it in. Out and in. Finding that control. Out and in. Take it out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Good. Out and in. Go for four and three. Make sure you're breathing. Two and one. Excellent. Adding on, you're going to take that left leg out, right arm out. So go out, knee to elbow, out, replace. Switch out, knee to elbow, out, and replace. Alternating sides. Out, knee in, reach out and down. Out and in out and down, out and in, out and down, out and in, out and down, out, 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 in, out and down. Good, almost there. And in, out, and down, last one, out, in, out, and down, good. You need to kind of roll out your wrist, get off your hands for just a moment. <sighs> Take some deep breaths, life is good. Woo. Your body will thank you later. If it's not thanking you already in a weird way. All right. All right, go ahead and take one leg back. We're gonna do all one side, here we go. So. Pointing your toe and then flex. Point and flex. So make sure you're not dumping through your belly. Suck it in up towards your spine. And make sure you're not dumping in your shoulders. Press your chest away from the ground as you point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Keeping everything engaged. Point, flex, point, flex. Point, flex, point. Here's where the fun begins. Point, pulse five, 
four, three, two, one. Flex your foot, pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Point your toes, five, four, three, two, one. Flex for five, four, three, two, one. Point, five, four, three, two, one. Flex, five, four, three, two, one. Good, I'm just gonna move a little so I can clear my furniture. Go ahead and take your opposite arm out. So you have that same leg up, opposite arm out. You're gonna bend, reach around, see if you can tap your toe. If not, you're just gonna reach around and then extend long. Reach around, extend and reach, extend, reach, extend, reach, extend. Here we go. Reach, extend, reach, extend. Go for five, four, three, two, last one. Good, arm goes down, legs stay up, flex your foot, and then press the ceiling. Two, pulses towards the ceiling, you got this. Don't dump into your chest or your belly. Nice and tall. All right, knee all the way in and kick up. Knee in, kick up. Knee in, keep that foot flexed, knee in. Kick up, knee in, kick up, go for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, fire hydrant. Here we go, open and close, same leg. Open and close, open and close, open and close. Nice. Four, five, four, three, two, and one, woo, hey, booty, all right. Awesome, you ready, other side? Turn your beautiful self around, or you can stay there, it doesn't really matter, I'm just turning so you can see me. All right, you guys ready? I don't know if I'll clear all my furniture, but we'll find out. All righty, so to begin with, we have your bird dog marches. So I send one back, Replace, other out, replace, out, replace, out, replace. If this is really challenging for your balance, find something on the ground a little bit out in front of you that's not moving. I don't know what would be moving out in front of you, maybe your cat. <laughs> don't look at the cat. Look at the floor. Help find that balance, find that one spot that you can focus on. Here you go. That's four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Adding on. You're going to extend, knee in, extend, back down. Extend, knee in, extend, back down. Extend, knee in, extend, and down. Extend, knee in, extend, and down. Extend, knee in. Extend and down. Extend, knee in. Extend and down. Extend and in. Extend and down. Extend and in. Extend and down. Get four and down for three and down for two. Last one. Out, in, out, and down. Good, extending your front leg back or your other leg back. Hopefully you remember which one you did and didn't do. Good, flex and point, flex and point. Remember belly button in towards your spine, flex and point. If it's your hands that are bothering you, you can come to your elbows or onto your fists, flex, point. Trying to keep that leg nice and in line with your body. So try not to let it sag down. Try to keep it up, hip height. Pointing and flexing, breathing. Good, all right, here we go. Point, pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Flex, five, four, 
three, two, one point five, four, three, two, one flex five, four, three, two, one point five, four, three, two, one flex five, four, three, two, one point five, four, three, two, one flex five, four, three, two. One, good, already extending your opposite arm out, bend, tuck your toe, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend. Try to keep your knee up, bend, and bend. Good, reaching back, really opening that shoulder as well. Extend, bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend. Good, make sure you're not dropping through your belly or through your chest. Go for five and four, three, two, one. Good, hand down, flex your foot, press that ceiling up. Here we go. Press. You got this. Five, four, three, two. Knee all the way in, knee in, press the ceiling. Knee in, press, knee in, press, good. And press, press for five, four, three, two, one. Good fire hydrant. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, excellent, get off your hands for a moment, do whatever you wanna do. Woo. Good times, I need to vacuum evidently. <laughs> Find out when you get all sweaty on the ground, you're like, oh, lovely. All right, grab some water if you need it. All right, go ahead and come over onto your side. Bring it all the way down. Good old Jane Fonda's because why not? Just will definitely want to stretch it out here, okay? So bring your leg up for one. Let's go ahead and stretch. So hang on to your leg, pull it closer towards you. You can grab anywhere behind your thigh, calf, you can even grab your heel or your toes, as long as it's getting a nice good stretch through your leg. Excellent, let's do some classic up and down. So you need to get down and up, point your toe, down and up, down and up, down and up. For five, four, three, two, one. All right, here's the change. You're gonna point as you go up, flex as you go down. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Great for your muscles, good for your brain. Good, point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Here's the add-on. You're gonna point pulse to flex it down, up. Pulse two, flex it down, up. Pulse two, flex it down, up. Pulse two, flex it down. Really messing with your brain this time. Point and you're gonna flex, pulse two, and take it down. So point up, flex, pulse two, take it down. Up, flex, pulse two, take it down. Up, flex, pulse two, take it down. You got this. Up. Flex, pulse two, take it down. Up, flex, pulse two, take it down. One more time. Up, flex, pulse two, take it down. Excellent. Woo, we thought we were done with those quads. We are never done with those quads. Alrighty, whenever you're ready, we're gonna simply flip to the other side. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, right? All right. Not too bad, famous last words. Okay. 
go ahead and find your nice side, side lie here. Pick that leg up to begin with and stretch it out. Again, grabbing anywhere along that leg or foot. It is up to you as long as you're getting a nice stretch. And let it go. All right, all pointing. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. For five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Good. Up, flex down. Up, flex down. For four, eek, three, and two, and one. Good. Here we go. Point up, pulse for two, flex down. Up, pulse for two, flex it 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 down. Here's last change. Up, flex, pulse two and down. Point up, flex, pulse two, flex down. Point, flex, pulse, pulse down. Point, flex, pulse, pulse, take it down. Point, flex, pulse, pulse, take it down. Point, flex, pulse, pulse, take it down. Point flex, pulse, pulse, take it down. Point flex, pulse, pulse, take it down. You're almost there. Point flex and down. One more. Point double flex and down. Excellent. Oh, nice work. Go ahead and flip over onto your belly. <clears throat> Sweet. All righty, we're gonna work into our glutes a little bit more. Aye, aye, aye. And then we'll get more into your further up into that back. Great. All right. So I'm just making a nice pillow with my forearms. That's where your head's going to go once you figure out what you're doing. So press into the tops of your feet. So your knees come up off the ground. We're going to alternate leg lifts. Super simple. So lift one and down, other and down. Make sure that you're controlling it on the way up and the way down. So don't just let your leg flop down. Actually control it up. And now pressing into your feet each time so your knees almost never touch the ground. You got this. And up and down, 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 four, three, two, and one. Good. All righty. This time we're going to do all one leg. Start with those pulses, then we'll do single leg rise. All righty. So press into the tops of your feet till your knees come up off the ground. Take your right leg up and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Down and up with that right leg. Down and lift. Down and lift down and lift, down and lift, down and lift. Here we go. Five and down, four and down, three, two, and one. Good. Press into the top of that right foot, knee stays off the ground. Left leg lifts, pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down and up, down and lift, 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 five more, and up, and up, and up, and up, one more, awesome, sweet, 
Alrighty, press into the tops of your feet, really engaging those quads today. Keep your knees lifted up off the ground and then lift your upper body up off the ground and bring your hands back. So it's almost like you're in a cobra, but you're not gonna use your hands. You just gonna use the strength of your back. All right, let's work into our shoulders as well. Again, look a little bit like maybe at the top of your mat, do a nice long neck here. Alrighty, extend your arms out and in. Your chest is gonna stay lifted the whole time. Arms reach out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. You got this, out, in, out, in for four, three, press into the tops of your feet, two, one, stay lifted. Here we go, pulse higher for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, place your hands underneath you. Take it back, child's pose. Stretch all that out. Awesome. Bring it on back. Woo. All righty. And flip it over. Don't worry, I didn't forget about your chair. It's very much right in front of me, staring me down. All righty. Go ahead and roll on back onto your back. Sweet. All righty. Finding bridges. Super simple. We do these decently often. So you should be like a bridge pro by now. <laughs> All righty. Scoop your tailbone under, that lifts up into bridge and back down. Good, tuck your tailbone and lift and down. Good, lift and down, a little slower today. Lift and down, lift and down. Last time, lift it up, hold, of course. Why would you not hold? <laughs> All righty, and pulse to the ceiling for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, knees tap, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good. All right, Just keep your hips up, heels lift for 10, 9, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, lower those hips down, bring your knees into your chest. Curl your chin to your chest. Leg extensions, here we go, one at a time. Pulse for two, pulse for two. And switch for two, switch for two, in. And in, good, singles, one, and one, 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 ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, both knees in, roll it down, excellent. Good, breathe. If you roll up those ankles, going one way, then the other way. Alrighty, one more thing on our back. We have reverse crunches. I feel like we should always do regular crunches if we do reverse, but hey, I said one more thing. So here we go. Legs can be straight up. If you wanna make it a little easier, just put a little bit of a bend in your knees. Hands can be behind your head, by your side, out to the T, wherever you'd like, but don't put them too close to your side because we're going to move our hips side to side. So I would suggest you put them behind your head. All right, here we go. Let's start with just some regular reverse crunches. So lifting your hips up off the ground, trying to poke that hole in the ceiling. So lift and lift, 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 and lift for five, four, three, two, and one, good. Bend your knees. Just do some regular crunches real quick. I, I knew I had to. All right, 10 and nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All righty. So it's like kind of a skiing action we're going to have going on here. So bring your legs back up again, finding that gentle knee bend here. Take your hips up and take them to one side and then take them to the other side. Good. Up and up. Good. Side to side. You got this. Again, arms can be wherever you'd like them to be. You can also do this with straight legs. It's a little harder. So whatever you're in the mood for. Good. Just picking those hips up, taking them side to side. Hopefully this is starting to burn. Good. For four. And three. And two. And one. Make sure you're even. Place your feet down. We'll re score off those hips. Ah, oh, so lovely. Feet come together, knees come wide. Excellent. Lift your heels up off the ground, chin to chest. And then arms release down. You're going to tap your knee, tap and tap, 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 side to side, tap and tap, tap and tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. Good. Bring your knees back together. Go ahead and roll all the way up. Ooh, sit up nice and tall while we're on the floor. Let's take a nice stretch. Legs out straight to begin with. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach over. Legs, feet can be pointed or flexed. As long as you're breathing, take deep breaths. And release. Good. Take your feet nice and wide. Whatever version of the splits you want to be in. All righty. And then make your way forward. Breathe into it. Enjoy this nice stretch. You should be warm. It should feel good. Good, and make your way back up. You're gonna reach over to one side. Nice side body stretch. And then turn and face that leg, stretching through your back. Good, take it back up through center, reach up and over, other side. And then turn to face your leg and reach. Good, and then bring it on back up. Grab from the inside of your knees, bring them together. And make your way all the way up to your lovely feet. Grab water if you need it. Try to remember to work out our neck before we end. So if you have a chair with the back, you can use the back. Really, if you have a folding chair, this is the best. So if it's in your house, run and grab it. If it's easy to grab. So if you have a folding chair, my chair's a little high, but if you have a folding chair, you're gonna stand just like right behind it a tiny bit off to the side or like directly behind it, but you know, kind of lining yourself up to one side. You're gonna take your leg up and over the back of that chair. So up and and over. So we have some nice hip rotation going on here. If you're like me, there's no way I'm clearing the back of my chair. Not that good. <laughs> There's really nothing to do with talent. It has something to do with anatomy. So you're going to go up and over. So if you're like me and you have to pretend that there's a back of a chair here, just think up and over. Okay, you got to clear it. Up and over. And over. If you feel a little like grinding in your hips, you're just going to step a little bit closer to the edge so you don't have as much like open that you have to do. Okay. Up and over. Up 
and over. You are just tapping that foot on that chair and tapping it on the ground. Up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. Yeah, if you have shorter legs, this is gonna be harder. That's okay. You can have short, awesome, powerful legs. All the sprinters in college were super short, super speedy. So it comes with its perks. It takes a lot of energy to make long legs <laughs> move that fast. And two, and one, fun part. Okay, we can take a tiny break. I was gonna make you go right into it. All right, bring it back. So just our toe is tapping here. <laughs> but this is also gonna be fun if your chair is high like mine. You're gonna lift, tap, 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 tap. So if you needed to come over to your shorter couch and tap and tap and tap, you can. Tap and tap and tap and tap and tap. Tap, tap, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. High leg. Okay, next side. I'm just gonna turn my chair around. Pokey pokey stub. Alrighty, so if you're behind your chair because you have a great short chair, just take a step over to the side. All right, stand up nice and tall. Here we go. And up and over. So you still want a little bit of that up and over motion. Just depends on how big you want that side motion on how much your hip is grinding and how much that annoys you, right? You're just tapping. You tap the ground, you tap that chair. Be super nice. Like you're standing on foam and you don't want to dent it. You just want to know that it's there. Tap, tap, and tap, and tap, and tap, tap, tap. You got this. Stand up nice and tall. Five more, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Good, leave your toe up there. Here we go, lifting, lifting. Yes, you can. If you need to hang onto your leg, you can, but try not to. Tap, 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 tap. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Breathe, 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 breathe. Three, three, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Why is that so painful? Ah, okay. You survived. We survived. The one survives. They get a gold star. Okay. This is not over until it's over there. Right. What is this craziness? Okay, so we have squats off the end of a chair. If you are new to squats or you're always wondering if you're messing them up, this is really a good way to do them correctly. So take your feet out a little bit from your chair. Okay, the closer you are, the easier these squats will be. Okay, the further they are, the further your feet are from the chair, the harder it will be. Whenever you're ready, you're going to sit back, just tap your bum to the chair and up. Good. Tap and up. So this is where if you had that shorter chair and your exercise was easier last time, congrats. Your exercise just got harder. Mine just got easier. <laughs> Making sure that everybody wins today, right? So you're just tapping your bum and you're coming back up. So you really want to sit down and up. Tap and up. Good. Tap. This is going to get you that right, that just that right depth. Tap and up. Unless you're on a bar stool and you're super cheating, <laughs> you probably have to jump to get on it, right? Or you don't have to go very far. Good. Tap and up. Tap and up. Good. Tap and up. Tap and up. Here we go. Four, three. Two and one. Just set your lovely bum down. Okay, we have triceps. So for your triceps, let me turn my chair around so you can see. 
For your triceps, you can leave your bum on the chair or you can be dipping off the chair. Cool, the best way is to do it like this. I'm losing my chair. Blown up right again, okay. Missing a few screws, but aren't we all? So you can be on the edge of your chair. Hands can be to the side. You can be doing these nice dip backs, bellies in. So make sure that whenever you dip back, you're not like, Ugh. okay, keep it in. <laughs> keep everything engaged. So again, don't, don't curl through here because you don't want to build your posture like this. If you build muscle like this, you're going to walk around like this. So roll your shoulders back. Keep your chest lifted. Belly in. So you dip back. Okay, that's one option. If you want to tip off your chair, it's the same thing as those squats. The further your feet are from it, the harder it becomes. So if you want to make it medium, you're just going to bring those feet right underneath your knees. Scoot your bum off the chair, maybe walk out a little bit and down and up. You want to make it really hard. Here's a longer lever, right? So whatever you want to do, here we go. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good, park yourself back in, sit on your booty, roll it out. And what would it be if we didn't torture your quads while you're sitting here? I love doing this. I sit in fit classes. They're like, oh, we're seated. It's gonna be easier. Lies, all right. Take one leg out, flex your foot. You're gonna try to bring that leg knee height. It's a quad day. I hope you were anticipating that. <laughs> Three, four, flex like you're trying to pull these toes towards your face. Six, you're getting that knee the same height as your other one. Seven, eight, nine, sit so up nice and tall. Ten, good. Keep it up. Pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, there we go. Then we find that those dance moves whenever we get really tired. All right, take your other leg out, flex your foot. So notice I'm really sitting on the edge of my chair. It's really just my bum so that my leg has full range of motion. Great, all right, here we go. Up and down, two. Remember, don't be like, Ugh. sit up tall. Five, six, heel those toes towards your face. Seven. Eight, nine, and good. Up and pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Did you forget about your triceps? Great. Let's go again. Okay. So bum on or bum off. Feet under your knees or extend out long. You have ten. Assume your lovely position. Here we go. Ten. Nine, eight. If you go slower, that's fine. I'd rather you get fuller range of motion. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, walk up back again. Okay, so for this next one, we have tricep pulses. So if whatever version you were doing just now is like a little too hard, maybe take it back. Right, you can also feel it out. So we have two pulses, full extension, two pulses, full extension. Not that much different, but you need to stick with regular ones. You do what you gotta do. All right, doable, fun, challenging. Check, 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 here we go. Take it off. So you're gonna pulse for two and straighten, pulse for two and straighten, pulse for two and straighten, Pulse for two and straighten. Keep going. Pulse and straighten. Pulse and straighten. Pulse and straighten. Pulse and straighten. For four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Slide back on and then stand all the way up. We're going to torch your arms one more time and then we're going to stretch. Yay. Yay. I love using the chair. I'm so excited for whenever I'm 90. This is like my jam all the time. But until then, 
we can still use it, right? <laughs> All righty, we're gonna do some push ups. So you can also do these on the ground. I'm gonna do them like this. If you really wanna challenge yourself, put your feet on, put your hands on the ground. That'll make it super hard. All right, bring those hips in the line. Here we go for 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Whatever you gotta do, get off your hands. We have one more set, no pulses on these. <laughs> Just 10 more push-ups, okay? Nothing crazy. All righty. You can thank my lack of AC for that. All right, here we go, 10, 10, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Hey, guess what? Plant your lovely tush right on whatever surface you got. Sweet. Alrighty. First of all, figure four. Take that leg up and over. Maybe this is where you're at. Maybe you can lean forward. This is really excellent to do in the steam room. You'd be surprised the depth you can get. All right. And then fold over as far as you want. Maybe your hands are on the ground. Maybe you're like not on your life. <laughs> Wherever you're at, just getting a nice good stretch here. I note if you're ever sitting in a chair at a party or going for a walk and there's a park bench, there's so many ways to do figure four. I hope you do not forego the opportunity to do so. Switch it out. Yeah. So if you're like talking to someone, you're chilling, you can just seem really interested and be like, oh, as you press that knee down, like, oh, you don't say, right? It's a nice stretch in. We can make a YouTube video tutorial on how to sneak in stretches while you're talking to people. I might be the expert in that field. and take it back up. Stay in your chair, grab onto one side, roll your shoulders back, grab on one side, and then lean away and let your head go away from that side. It's a really big stretch through your neck. And then chin to collarbone as if you're looking towards your hip pocket, stretch through that back side of your neck. This should feel really good. And then bring it back up, release that hand, take your other hand to the side, take an inhale. And as you exhale, leaning away, letting your head fall towards your ear. Breathe. If your grip strength is really weak and it's stressing your arm out more than it is getting a neck stretch, just let go and just let your head go to your shoulder. All right, chin to collarbone, slight rotation through that neck. Let your forehead go. And then bring it back up to center. Good, Stoops. scooch to the edge, reach around. One hand to one side, other hand behind you can be on the edge, back. You know, crank it as safely as you want, as long as your spine is nice and tall. Good, and then move to the other side, opposite hand, opposite leg. Use that chair as some traction. Good, stand on up. Last one, let's stretch out your back. So bring your hands onto your chair and then let your chest fall down. So it's like a downward dog, but without all the weight into your hands. Stretching out your hamstrings and your shoulders. Walk your hands to the edge of your chair. Let your hands come off. Maybe they find the ground, maybe not in your forward fold.
Bend your knees and roll for safety. Don't get lightheaded. Try not to get too lightheaded as you come on up. Excellent. Inhale and reach. Exhale, arms back down. Good, inhale and exhale. Brilliant, you did it, you worked everything. And I hope you feel good and I will see you next time.